I'm Hulk Hogan, the greatest wrestler of all time. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! You're a spaceman, huh? No, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't go anywhere without getting a boner. How you doing? I live my life. Woo! The Rock says, Sweet baby Jesus in the office. Well, 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 everyone. I hope you're doing well today. So... You're watching Wrestle Rock Podcast. You're with Johnny D, and I am with my partner Benoit, aka Nostradamus Ben. How are you doing, my friend, today? Yeah, fine. Yes. And you know what? No, my friend. No. No. One million views on YouTube. Yes, this is super awesome that we have uh, passing our, um, the the one hundred million views on our YouTube channel and. This is super awesome because we have a, a we have a special guest and uh, to celebrate uh, yes, to this celebrate accomplishment. This accomplishment, and he is a uh, WWE Hall of Famer, former um, Intercontinental Champion. Yes, also a tag team champion. Yeah. Uh, let's let me introduce uh, yourself, um, Mr. Uh, Papa Shango, the Godfather. Uh, Mr. Charles Wright. Charles Wright, how are you doing today? Hey, how you guys doing, man? Thanks for having oh. me on the show. Oh, and congratulations that's, that's on perfect. that milestone, man. That's, uh, uh, that's thank a you lot so of, much. Yes, yes we worked so good. hard. How you guys doing? Pretty good? Yes, really, really good. Oh, yeah. And this is fantastic that we can have you a couple of minutes because uh, we know that you are super busy and... Uh, that's fantastic because he has a, we, a super background. Very yes, good background. exactly, exactly. And we saw you since the debut, and with uh, with Shango, we followed you uh, with the Nation of Domination. The Supreme Fighting Machine camera was awesome with Ted DiBiase, and also the Godfather, the Godfather himself. So, well, that, let's forget about the Good Father. Let's leave him out. Go ahead. Uh, I said good. we can forget about the good father. The good the father, right? Yeah, yeah. The good father. Right yeah, right yeah, the the good we father. can forget father. about that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> super cool, super cool. So go ahead, my friend, with a little question. So. Okay, Mr. Good Father. No, it's a joke. <laughs> Mr. Godfather, Mr. Wright. Uh, you were born in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, my question is uh, Are you a Golden Knights or Raiders fan? I am both. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I uh, I start. I've been watching the Raiders since nineteen. I'm from the Bay Area of California, okay. and so I've been watching the Raiders since seventy four. And I start watching the Knights about four or five years ago. Ah, yeah, the so Knights, awesome. the, the current Stanley Cup champions. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's a hell of an accomplishment. Yeah, I would like to talk about your uh, your debut because you started your wrestling career at uh, Laurie Sharp's Monster Factory. Can you tell us um, something about this uh, wrestling academy, uh, Laurie Sharp, of course? Um, the Monster Factory, it was uh, wrestling kind of came to my front door and okay. it was because of a wrestler named Bam Bam Bigelow. And, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I just respected. I wasn't a really big wrestling fan. I was a, a roller derby fan, believe it or not. And uh, I knew who Bam Bam Bigelow was. I went and met Larry Sharp. Literally, uh, I was so different. I was so big and different that I was in uh, wrestling school for a very, a very short time. Okay. And uh, I right away, I, I was in wrestling school maybe three, four months. Okay. And I was hired by Jerry Lawler to uh, go wrestle in Memphis. Uh, awesome, awesome. Another, uh, how we said, uh, um, a fast wrestler, yes, a fast wrestler to become a pro wrestler, so that's super cool. <laughs> um, we have a little another question, so go ahead, my friend. Yeah, of course, uh, uh everybody knows that uh, you are, uh, you and Undertaker uh, are, uh, Close yeah, friends. closest friends. Yeah, in yeah, what really year? Very good friends. 
Yeah. What year did you meet uh, Mr. Calloway for the first time? I met uh, Taker in about 88 in Memphis, and that's when uh, that I went to Memphis to wrestle. I wrestled a ago. program with Jerry Lawler. After okay. that, I was so green, they didn't know what to do with me. So um, they said, we're going to bring this tall, redheaded kid in to wrestle against you. He's got. He's been in the business a little longer than you. And, of course, that was Taker. We had a match. They ended up putting us together as a tag team. We were called Death Express. And okay. uh, we became we became really good lifelong friends. Okay. And I imagine that uh, you you have been inspired uh, by his um, gimmick yeah. to uh, to your your own gimmick, so uh, Papa Shango, right? What's that? I imagine that you have been uh, inspired. inspired by uh, his own gimmick for your uh, your own gimmick, right? Um. Inspired, I don't know. Inspired in two different characters. It was yeah. It, it was kind of weird that we were both from the like the dark side. Ended up that way. I ended up as Papa Shango because they hired me, and Vince says you have a body of a monster. He says, yeah. but you have a baby face. He says, so we have to do something with your face, and that's why they ended up painting my face. Okay. Because, but you know, it's a good thing because I'm 62 years old now, and I don't look too bad with that baby face. <laughs> uh, that, that's pretty cool because you look like uh, 50 guys, so that's pretty cool for, uh, for hey, girls. If I'm you know, 62 what I mean. years old, I'll yeah, that that's 62. Day. Yeah, okay, yeah, you look perfect, man. <laughs> look, hey, yeah, I tell uh, you why, but you wouldn't believe me what the trick is for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, smoking weed, why, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Damn right, it's cannabis, cannabis <laughs> saved my life, it's cannabis preserved me. Uh, it really works for me. It doesn't work for everybody, mm -hmm. but it works really well for me. Yeah, and uh, where we are located, I don't know if you know that, but uh, uh, weeds are legal, so uh, that that that's awesome. You can just go into the shop and buy your stuff legally. So since 2018, yeah, yeah, five years it's, ago. Uh, it's legal here in Nevada too. It's it's recreational, so it's legal. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so. We uh, we spoke uh, earlier about Papa Shango, so uh, we would like to hear you about um, the uh, the run in um, during WrestleMania 8 and uh, the main event, Hulk Hogan and Sid Justice. Why did you miss your run in during this match, my friend? Um, they just gave me a late cue. Uh, okay. They basically told me, "Don't go until we tell you to go." So okay, I was at the gorilla station ready to go. I wasn't okay. even watching. Later, I, they were worried because I was so green that I'd miss my cue. Okay. And later on, of course, I would have known when to go anyway. And so yeah. I wasn't even. I just knew what I had to do when I got there. And so all of a sudden, they're like, "Oh, go, 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 go!" <laughs> well, they gave me a late cue, and so that's why I had a long run to make. But yeah. uh, that's why I really never heard anything about it from anybody because uh, uh, the person that made that mistake took uh, credit for it. So awesome! It wasn't my fault, fault, man. I was, they just they said they gave me the cue late. Yes, okay, it wasn't your. It fault. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. What's my fault? <laughs> okay, Mr. Wright, uh, ask Pepe Shangu, uh, How did you get the smoke or the steam out of your uh, skull head? Out of my uh, my uh, skull? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. <laughs> they used to put what was called non-toxic sulfur in there. Okay. And they looked like little briquettes. Okay. And uh, each one would burn for so long. So depending on how long they wanted it to burn, they would put that many inside the skull, inside of a, can a steel canister, because okay. it would get really, really hot. But let me I tell you it. something, man. That stuff stunk. It, it stunk bad. Uh, and it just, it was bad. I was every night. I'd get to the <laughs> ring, you think I just took a big bong hit, you know? I'd be like, <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, that man. smoke was it getting your eyes, your nose. I it was that. terrible. I hated that smoke. And I remember a couple of times, um, I would like to hear you about that because a um, couple of times uh, you uh, you did uh, curses. And what was the process for bleeding? For example, when uh, Mean Gene's uh, bleeding with his hands and uh, 
Ultimate Warriors Bleedings. Uh, Warrior. Uh, that was just amazing. And <laughs> it was toxic what? for them. It was voodoo. <laughs> that was voodoo. That was voodoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They had That's it, secret. they had it rigged where like okay. when it happened to the warrior, he'd have a jacket on or something, and he'd have a okay. pump. He'd okay. have a pump that had the stuff in it in his jacket. And they ran a tube up his jacket, up through his wow. hair. And the same with anybody that do that, they'd run a tube in him. And then you would see him like this. And in the other hand, they'd be pumping yeah. that stuff out. Yeah. Yes. that We had a real little... creative guy, part of a team called Magic. Uh, that was awesome. And the guy's name was Richie. But he was great about it. He, he loved doing Papa Shango stuff and Godfather stuff. So yeah, he was. A, I don't think he's there anymore, but he was a good dude. Joe, a pump like a scream mask. Why? Well, it's, it's a little bit. You know the movie it. Scream? Yeah, I, I know mean, the movie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Scream mask and, and bloody in the in the into the mask in the mask. Yeah, that's probably the yeah. Pump. same thing. Yes, exactly. Okay. So go ahead. Yeah. Uh, are you disappointed that Papa Shango's gimmick didn't take off? No, uh, a lot of that was my fault. I was uh, going through a very, very ugly divorce. And uh, the oh, there's there's the Godfather, then there's this guy called Bear. Okay. You'll hear Undertaker always call me Bear. Mm -hmm. Bear's more of a hard-nosed biker type of dude. And he's not really a, a no-non... Uh, I'm more of a... Uh, I'm the Godfather's more of a fun guy. That's me. But back in the day, I used to be more of a biker. So... Um, that was a question now. I got I got lost. Yes, perfect. So what was uh, the question? Uh are you disappointed that Papa Shango's game? No, just, I was going through a bad divorce and I was getting okay. into a lot of fights. And yeah. back then there was no internet or no social media. So you wouldn't hear about it. But every night, man, I'm getting in real <laughs> fights in bars. And yeah. takers happen to Undertaker's pulling me off of people. And so me, Taker, and Vince went into the room and we thought it would be best if I took some time off. So two things hurt Papa Shango. When Sid Justice quit, or Sid Vicious, whatever his name was at the time, he, he didn't want to do the job for Warrior. And they didn't have anybody else with steam on them, so they threw me in there. That was my first bad thing. And then after that, I went to, you know, Bret Hart, Taker. I went down the line. But that's because I was, I was going to finish up anyway. So a little bit their fault and a lot of my fault. I was just in a bad place. So um, I read somewhere that um, you refuse a, a contract with WCW, if my memory is good. So uh, why did you turn down uh, the WCW on the uh, advice of Ron Simmons, knowing full well that he had a huge push in that company? Well, if you were champion. Yes. Um. <laughs> I did not refuse it. Okay. Um, they offered to me and then took it back. Okay. They offered that we are, I worked out a deal to come in to be part of the NWO. Okay. And I was going to be the bodyguard and I worked out at the numbers and stuff. And I was waiting for a call back, waiting for a call back. All of a sudden I turned the TV on and I see Virgil. Okay. So okay. That's very different. Save a lot of money. <laughs> okay. And go with Virgil. Okay, which is good because I got to still do the Godfather. So yeah. um, it, it, it worked out well. But even when they were talking about me going there, Ron Simmons was just basically saying that uh, that's not the place for me. Okay, he says that I might not okay. be real happy there. Okay, perfect. Okay, as a Godfather, where did you take your who train girls? Where did I take them to work, man? I put them girls on the street, made them work. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That's oh, good. Man. You that's, know how many hundred wrestlers there are? Wow, man. I, I had a lot of girls, man. Those that's nice looking girls too, didn't I? Yeah, that's okay. super awesome. Uh on April uh 12, 1999, you won uh the Intercontinental Champion on Raw against uh Goldust. Is this your greatest accomplishment with uh, this company? Uh I don't know if it's my greatest accomplishment. Uh, I've been part of uh, a lot of, like you said, the Ultimate Warrior, and people still talk about that today. The Nation of Domination being part of the building of the Rock. I mean, mm -hmm. me and Ron and Dilo were a very big part of that. Yeah. Um, you know, to creating Papa Shango to, to uh, 
my wife creating the Godfather, and that's a lot of things people don't know, is my wife creating the Godfather. Oh, we, we didn't WWE. know. That. It was all my wife and me. And my wife came up with the idea. She came up with the clothes, the hats. Uh, I just did the silliness and, and the entertaining. Yeah. But uh, I think Godfather was my greatest accomplishment because Godfather was over, man. I mean, for the spot that I was in, I mean, Godfather had his own segment. Like You'd have segments and stuff. I actually had my own segment that had nothing to do with wrestling, just me going out there entertaining the people. And that was pretty cool. And that's hard to get to that level by yourself without help from the office. Yeah, because uh, uh, the gorilla position, uh, the I imagine that uh, working with uh, Vince McMahon, that was not necessarily uh, super easy, if you know what I mean. Because if he had uh, an idea that that was uh, probably hard to change his mind and yeah. and uh that's pretty cool that he accept to brother I, i would tell you this vince mcmahon stephanie shane that whole family has been nothing but cool to me i've been on a legends contract since 2003 that's 20 years i've been getting checks that's awesome uh, they just came out with the new common mustafa action figure i've got another they are really that 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 whole family Yeah. has been so cool to me over the years that you'll never have me say That's hear awesome. me say anything bad about them because they have been super cool with me and believe me i'm a handful <laughs> <laughs> i'm a handful <laughs> okay and mr Wright, uh, rumor or fact uh, at over the edge in 1999 owen art war was supposed to win the intercontinental championship uh, against you true he was he was oh, okay yeah they were taking the belt off of me because Uh, they just wanted to make the Godfather a little bit more legitimate, so they put the belt on him. But the belt didn't mean anything because I had the girls, and mm -hmm. all the belt was was something the girls covered out. You know, the belt didn't mean anything, so they just put it on me for a while, and then they were going to drop it on Owen as the Blue Blazer. Okay. And you won the WWE Tag Team Champion uh, Tag Team Titles, beating the the Hardy Boys as right to censor. With Bo Buchanan, are you satisfied with this success? With of what the uh, art? Are you satisfied with this accomplishment? Yeah, the, yeah. You, your you victory. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yes, yeah. cool. I mean, yeah, yeah. We come on, oh yeah. <laughs> cool. I didn't like the group RTC, but uh, yeah. I like the people in the group. Cool. Okay. Uh, what was your first reaction when you found out you were going to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in uh, 2016? Ah, uh, surprised. <laughs> I never thought they'd put a pimp I in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> uh, they called me and I just about every year. I mean, I'm on that Legends contract. So just about every year I'm at WrestleMania. You might not see me, but I'm there. <laughs> and uh, they called me. Uh, uh, Carano called me and said, hey, uh, You all set for uh, WrestleMania? I'm like, yeah. He's like, are you going to bring your family? And I'm like, no, I'm not bringing my family. Why would I bring my family? I'm like, no, I'm just coming by myself. He goes, well, Vince like you to bring the whole family. I'm like, why would I bring my own family? He goes, because Vince decided to put you in the Hall of Fame this year. And that's exactly how that conversation went. So that was pretty cool. I had a great time. Super cool. And just before ending, we give you a wrestler name and in uh, And we would like to hear you uh, just in a simple uh, short sentence. So uh, tell us something about that. So uh, The Undertaker. Great guy. The phenom. Changed wrestling. Damn good guy. Okay. Uh, Tammy Linsich. Who? Tammy Linsich. Tammy Linsich. Sonny. Sonny. Uh, biggest hoe in the company. Nah. <laughs> biggest hoe that's ever worked in wrestling nastiest hoe that you ever want to meet that's why that hoe's in jail right now she's a nasty hoe how about that oh that we are totally agree with uh <laughs> with your answer honestly hulk hogan um hulk hogan the wrestler has done a lot for the for, for wrestling val venus <laughs> lost <laughs> his mind lately but uh good guy and I, a good friend of mine Okay, uh, Rekishi. Oh, that's BSK, baby. That's my brother. That's brother <laughs> love. BSK in the house. 
And uh, the last one, The Godfather. <laughs> Never, ever will The Godfather be duplicated. You might see a <laughs> lot of wrestlers. You might see Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, The Rocks, Stone Cold. You might see people rip off them, but you'll never, ever see a Godfather in the form that I was in. Awesome. Society wouldn't let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> so for ending, as usual, uh, my partner, uh, Nostradab- uh, Nostradamus, oh, Nostradamus ben, ben, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's all about the French prophet. He tried to predict the future of our guests, so go ahead, my friend. In uh, my skull head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Wright, first of all, thank you so much for the interview. Very, very appreciated. And uh, I predict to you, you're going to be a, a double WWE Hall of Famer as a member of the Nation of Domination in a few years. I think I agree with you, but there's one problem with that. What? Until they put the rock in the Hall of Fame, how are you going to put the nation in the Hall of Fame? Oh, okay. 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 I mean, are you going to put the nation without the rock? Yeah, but... The oh, rock the rock can... in single and... The... In single, yeah, but... They'd have to go... In, the in, rock in would have to go in single first before they'd put yeah. them in yeah, the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, the hold up. Cool. The rock probably that wants $20 sense. million dollars to be put in the Hall of uh, Fame. So that's probably I the hold up. <laughs> I, I mean, why else is it in the Hall of Fame? Yeah. Probably. Waiting, but once the, I think once he goes in, then you'll see the nation going right after. Probably. Why not? Maybe the same day. Maybe the same day? <laughs> I don't know anything. I know that the nation is in line to go into the Hall of Fame at some point. At what point that is, I don't know. But that'll be cool to have two rings. <laughs> see, they, 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 they put... When they inducted the Godfather, it was also Kama, Papa Shango, uh, you know, Kama Mustafa, and RTC. They grouped them all together. So, yeah, yeah. there going to be no more of those. <laughs> so, thank you so much for your time. This is super awesome that you accept our invitation. This is awesome. Yeah. So, uh, thank you for your time. So, uh, this is um, Mr. Godfather, uh, who take uh, 20 minutes With us, this is super awesome. So, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Uh, Wright. Hey, man, appreciate everybody out here. Nothing but love, man. And you guys stay safe. And be glad you're not here in Vegas because I don't know what it is in Celsius, but in degrees, it's 118 here. It's so hot, it's not oh, funny. Shit. So. Oh, my God. Phoenix and Nevada and Arizona, it's so hot, you can't even go outside. <laughs> thank you so much for your time and take care. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Peace, everybody.